Hey guys, so welcome to March! Yeah, today is the first day of the vlogging in March of 2023. And not only is it March, but today is March 3rd, which means that this console right here, the Nintendo Switch, is turning six years old. That's crazy. It's been already six years old, like today. I can't believe it's actually, it's already been six years. Like, I specifically remember the day of March 3rd. Like, um, I didn't get to go directly at launch. My mom actually picked it up for me on that day because, um, yeah, I was out on a field trip back in high school. This was back in my freshman year, and I went to a field trip to New York. It was for this STEM thing, I believe, where we were, like, going to certain activities and such. And I remember being on, like, the bus ride home, and my mom, like, sent me a picture of, like, the two... Switch games that I got for it, which were Breath of the Wild and One Two Switch, and obviously you can probably guess which one of those has gotten the better reputation as of over time of remembrance and lasted, I guess. But I don't know. I haven't. Uh, speaking of playing my Switch, I've been wanting to play. I did pick up the um, the most recent Kirby game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I've been wanting to play more of that as of recently, but I don't know. Last night I was watching more of. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, which been I'm on like the second season of that now, and been enjoying that. I just watched the episode where he basically Ash gets shoved up the guy's ass because like this demonic um, intestine, like tangled thing, like like tries like uh, fucking with them. I guess it's it's, it's a crazy ass show. Like Evil Dead in general is crazy, but yeah. Today I'll probably be doing my regular like Goodwill run to like Goodwill Savers and yeah. Also another thing I want to like say is that uh, the bird, it was just earlier, I don't know what the bird's going to do it now, but the bird was just banging on the window before so. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do to like stop the bird then like let me know because I can't keep dealing with this each morning. Like my dad is like, oh well the birds only live for so long, it's like yeah, and how much longer is the bird going to be alive? Like, it's like, the bird has been doing this for, like, over a year now. I'm, like, not kidding, so. What are you going to do, really? All right, guys, so now we're at Goodwill. And, um, but yeah, one thing I want to mention is that, like, as of recently, I haven't been doing my routine as much because I've been, like, busy trying to get a whole bunch of stuff listed. Like, pretty much, I've probably listed over the past few days at least, like, 50 to 60 things just because I've gained like a lot of inventory as of recently so I haven't I've been trying to like just take the time that I usually be using to be going to Goodwill and Savers and just using it to list stuff but I did go back to um Woodbridge Goodwill uh, I think it was on Tuesday or I think it was actually it was Wednesday or mine um, I went there on Wednesday, I picked up a couple things, there's like, um, these like Viva La Bam, uh, DVD sets that they had there, which I guess is basically a show by the same guy as, like, Jackass, or, like, has the same actor or something like that, and then there's like a Monopoly Junior, and then there's like some other Starbucks mug, but, yeah, that Goodwill I'll probably keep going back to, because it's actually pretty good, but yeah, I'm gonna go on to Orange Goodwill, as I usually would, starting off, I guess, and then, yeah, I'll see what they got in there. Okay guys, so I'm over like taking a look at the, the toy section now. Um, I don't really see anything here, but there's a couple PC games I think I'm gonna like grab. This one is uh, Darwinia. Uh, I'm not I'm not familiar with it, but it like I don't know the pixel style is like making me want to grab it. It's only like um, two bucks, and uh, yeah, this is from like 2004 or something, so that's cool. But the other one that's like, I mean, this one's five bucks. Um, Redick, Redick, I don't know. This one's worth like 20 plus shipping, so I'll probably grab it for that reason. Yeah, all the discs are in there are in good shape, so pretty cool. So I'm like slipping up a little bit on like some stuff over here because there's like a I found like one more PC game, X Men Legends 2 for PC. It's complete in box. The discs are all in there. They're in good shape, and uh, it hasn't sold. I mean, there's one. The only one that sold was one that was brand new sealed, and it sold for like 53 plus shipping. But obviously this is opened, and I box isn't perfect. But you know what? Two bucks. I'm gonna grab it, and then uh baby back vhs this is brand new sealed 
Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one too. So always make sure to double check. Okay guys, so I left Orange Goodwill and now I'm gonna go take a look in Savers and I'm gonna see if they have anything in there. It's Friday, so I'm not I don't know I don't know why I'm saying like weekdays because sometimes it like I feel like there's like patterns with weekdays, but then sometimes it's like it doesn't it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It just sometimes I have a mindset of just like if it's Friday or a Saturday, then it's like there's more traction, so they'll put out gooder like yeah, gooder, yeah, better stuff. Yeah, but let's go take a look and see if they have anything in there. I found Mario. This is actually a remote controlled Mario Kart car. And I don't I don't know if the, the controller is somewhere around here, but yeah. 349. I actually have this at home, so um, I might pass on it just because it's like, you know, almost well, it's like someone might be interested in buying it if it's just for display or you can kind of move it around, but it's meant to be remote controlled, so. Guys, so I just went to go for Goodwill, right? So they have a cart out right over there, right on the top of the cart. Holy shit. Oh, it's three bucks. Yeah, a little bit shaky at the moment because it doesn't happen that often, but I just found Pokemon DS game. Nice. So I'm back home now, and we're just gonna take a look at what I got, I guess. So, yeah, I started at, uh, yeah, or Orange Goodwill, and I grabbed these two PC games first, and, um, those ones are, like, this one I know is definitely worth grabbing for, like, it was five, and it sells for around, like, 20 plus shipping or so. This one I probably will keep, just because I'm, like, curious to see how it is. Just to uh, get an idea what it says. Yeah, that's what it says on the back of it. You can tell that all the screenshots in the game are all like pixelated-ish, and it's like kind of like a cool environment. Yeah, it was a 2004 game, so that's cool. And then, um, yeah, I picked up this as well. This, I don't know if it will sell or not, but you know what, for two bucks, like I don't think it's worth two dollars. It's probably worth more than that, it just might not sell often. One of the other PC games I grabbed was Flight Simulator X, which I've actually um, picked up. Like the original Flight Sim uh, Simulator, and then um, the deluxe version, which is, yeah, that one, like, individually, pretty much. And now I, I did, like, I guess this is, like, a common game. Um, I've literally found the deluxe edition of the um, Flight Sim Simulator X at least twice at different good rules. And it's worth, like, these these games tend to be worth about, you know, between 10 and 20, like, dollars. So, yeah, definitely worth grabbing. Then I went to Savers, and they had a bunch of comics. This is a G.I. Joe, a real American hero comic. I guess number 121. And yeah, they usually sell uh, comics at Savers for like $1.30. Also, I like the, the Game Genie advertisement, that's cool. But yeah, this one's worth like 10 plus shipping or so. Um, and then, oh my god. Milford Goodwill. I was literally, I walked in there and they freaking had like a whole bunch of like books and like a tote pretty much and right on the top was freaking Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time for only three bucks. It's got the cartridge, it's got the manuals, everything's in there, all the inserts. Oh my god. It's always like freaking amazing when you find you know, everything with it as well. You don't just find like the cartridge, you get like the whole thing. I mean, I don't think I've really found like just DS cartridges on their own. Like, they don't, I mean, they usually, like I'm assuming they probably put most of this stuff online at Goodwill. But sometimes they either screw up or maybe they don't care. I mean, I'm also wondering if it might have to do with them having like an overstock pretty much, where they're just like, they can't store all of their inventory in warehouses, so they're actually starting to be more generous and put good stuff out like this on the shelves. Like, it's awesome when you're doing that. It's like, I mean, that was kind of the, that should be the original intention of Goodwill, to be, you know, being generous and, like, putting stuff out so, like, you know, other people can have it. And that just, I mean, you, you probably, they probably make a ton of money as is anyway, so. That's what I got. Um, other stuff I'm gonna do is probably just listing stuff, but, what? It's time to eat Chinese food. 
What are we doing? Yeah, it's time to eat the Chinese food. Going to get some good Chinese food. Yes, yeah, salad. The best. Yes. So we finally got a seat. Finally got a what? Are you finally, finally got a seat? seat? Yeah. yeah. We got a seat. Yeah. Took us a while. What time did you start filming? Yeah, that, that was probably like 20 minutes ago or something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be getting uh, definitely chicken will mean and uh, chicken fried rice and then also dumplings. We got a lot of options. It's all great food here. The lot number because this is also SUS 304, so it's probably. I was, the, just, I was just looking at the spoon. And it says sus 304. It's 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 suspicious, suspicious spoon, uh, spoon I guess. We wonder what sus stands for. Yeah. What does it mean? What do you think of the food? The food is awesome. Yeah. The food is always awesome here. Still waiting for my dinner. It's definitely worth the wait, no doubt about it. Yeah, so it's definitely fresh, worth it. Tasty. Yeah. But I do need more duck sauce. Yeah, that's that's important to have that. Yeah, dumplings are good. Okay guys, so now I'm home and I'm going to be playing some Kirby's Return of Dreamland Deluxe now. Yeah, I'm very, uh, not so far into the game and um, <clears throat> I'm on like the second level or second world. They're, they're called levels instead of worlds. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's how it works with the Kirby games. But yeah. And I think that's about it for today. It's like, yeah, almost 9 o'clock right now. So yeah, thanks for watching.